each other often on this episode. How many times can you say that you get interviewed by the guy who drives you to tournaments? <laughs> <laughs> How many times can I say I've ever gotten a piece of that prize pool and gas money off the... Uh, 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 yeah, I keep bringing you out to all these events. You keep winning, but where's my food and stuff at? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what'd you think of the event today? How'd everything go for you? It was Outside fun. of winning. Congratulations. It was fun. It was pretty... Thank you. It was pretty... Uh, it was run pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole... Waterfall bracket. I guess it, was, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. I didn't really like the, I the idea. <laughs> Sorry, I'm choking. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Anyways, um, get out. <laughs> All right, anyway. All right, so back to this. Back yeah, to so <laughs> the waterfall bracket, it was pretty fun. I guess it gave more people chances to play and all. Mm -hmm. uh, showed a very unexpected turn of events, putting fall in as my round one out of pools. Yeah, I was just about to ask you, you know, very unique uh, turn of events there because Cavario's actually knocking Fallen into, well, your side of the bracket as the way that it went. <laughs> as Kevro says, wow, funny enough, the only person I don't want to play today was like white. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was able to get himself out of it and uh, multiple people actually taking him out. Obviously you had to run into him first, but you look very confident in it. This, all the experience you've had against the Buzz really like helped you in that matchup? Because I know that they play very differently. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say uh, the buzz is far superior when it comes to not having Luma. Mm -hmm. So when I went against Fallen's like Rosa without Luma, I was like, okay, this is like extremely doable. Like, That's yeah. interesting because uh, one of the key factors I saw, particularly against the other players that he was playing against, like Blair, most people couldn't deal with him when his Luma was gone. Well, I feel like that's a basic thing of the matchup. Like when you don't, like when you're like fighting a, like someone playing Rose and Luma, they think, all right, we're gonna go offensive a bit just to throw people off. Like, why would he go offensive when he has Luma? But like, I'm used to that because mm. I play the Buzz. Mm. So I'm like, I fought. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got this. I can do this. It's okay. Very yeah. good, very good um, approach to that matchup and a very solid, clean victory on your part. Um, besides Glare, I know I ask you this a lot. Who throughout the day, besides maybe who you might have played, who you saw looked impressive or? It seemed impressive to me. Well, like he could have won the tournament. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'd say Koga's definitely coming up better. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, for people who don't know, he took a break when he went to Florida for a year. And he, when he came back, it's like nothing happened. I was going to say, you know, uh, uh, me and Actual Garbage were talking about it. Koga was very much the gatekeeper of people. If you wanted to like get to PR. The, yeah, if you wanted to get to the upper echelon of PR, you had to get through Koga. Yeah, back when he was around the top three, was him. Well, me, Ling Ling, Koga, mm -hmm. and kind it, of a gap. Yeah, it was just consistently that same level, but once he went, a lot of people started showing their stuff. But those same people who were showing their stuff, he came back today, and he put a work on him. Granted, however, Tony Pajamas, I will say, looked oh, way uh, better in that yeah, matchup. Yeah, props to both of them. Yes. Props to the adaption played by, like, Koga. I'm really liking that Mewtwo that he's Yeah, and on. that Mewtwo was really nice. Yeah, it's definitely covering a lot of the matchups he had a hard time with with the Ness, including even against... um. Scott, he had a really. Honestly, I'm surprised. Like, oh my God, Scott died out at the ending with that fair. That kind of cost mm -hmm. him the set. I thought I had interesting words for a lot of people's di choices today. Oh yeah, I agree. <laughs> I completely agree. I, I've seen a lot of it today. It was not the greatest day for uh, CT's di for their know. ID. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I just I felt like Scott could have won that set mm. more. So I thought game five, Tony was going to switch to Ness. I thought that would have been the right call. But I mean, either way, he won. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he still came out on top. I just, I was confident in the fact that he was playing so well with the Mewtwo that he needed to be able to bury that W with it. Yeah. Um, that aside, though, moving on to something else, we're at the tail end of Smash Four. A lot of people are starting to take breaks. A lot of people <laughs> starting to fall off. A lot of people wanting to get away from the game. What other events are you looking at to potentially going to, and what ooh, is? Ooh, I already made my list. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, Big House GTX, uh, DreamHack Atlanta. I should be going to those. And I've asked you before. Oh, wait, no. That's Atlanta. Okay. I was going to say. Uh, Montreal's happening Montreal's, this weekend. Oh, right, right, right. That is going on right now. Um, so, yeah. So, Big House. GTX. Run by the Great Temper. TMPR. Um, and make sure you guys check that out. And uh, what was the last one again? Uh, DreamHack Atlanta. Okay. And uh, that's in what? Late November, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. So potentially we'll be seeing some more light, uh, you know, continuing to show why he's reached the level that he has in, um, in uh, Smash 4, being in the top 15. Also, I normally don't like give you praise for this, but you have been like the most hilarious thing I've seen on GIFs lately. 
like when you had Shine, where you were pushing Void away, just kind of slowly oh, yeah, walking great. away. <laughs> you guys just standing there, just yeah, staring man. at the screen. It's like I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty funny. I didn't want to <laughs> tell you that you were being funny about it, but good stuff. Also, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of the new players that come in and people who anticipate and uh, follow your type of playstyle going into Ultimate yeah. with a much more aggro playstyle coming into this next game. No, I think no one wants to play I know like that me. You don't <laughs> People want to, they just don't do it because for some reason you get away with many They're things. They're scared. <laughs> You're scared. All right, so we're going to get ready to wrap things up. Once again, congratulations on winning Retro Rumble uh, in yet another CT tournament, uh, kind of holding down the top portion and making other people try to come to you. Yeah, no one's been able to break it yet, though. Yeah, man. Fall Money lost to other people, but he also lost to me, so I defended properly. <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, make sure, of course, if you guys are already following him, please give this man a follow. Follow at me light. at light underscore s21. Follow me at light underscore s21. Follow him at fp underscore ajax. fp underscore ajax on twitter.com slash solala. Very infomercial ask. Very, very well done, well done. 1 800, 1 800 light underscore s21. <laughs> 877 cash now. All right, once again, one last time though, make sure you guys show some love to everything that is great value smash. Uh, hit that follow button on top right corner. Subscribe if you can. Go to all their social media outlets, YouTube channel, everything else, and give them a follow. We will be closing up for this tonight. We will be back tomorrow with Dragon Ball Fighters, which he will be competing in again. And I will be winning. And of course, all the top players that you're going to see in Project Melee. Thank you so much. We enjoyed your time. Have a great night. Love you.